Hey folks, Paul Abernathy here. On today's edition of Mastering the NEC, we're gonna look at that pesky little thing in a load calculation that everybody has always questioned, and that is the largest motor and why we do it at 25% of the largest motor when we're doing the calculation using the standard method in part three of Article 220. Now, you're not gonna see anywhere in the NEC that says take the largest motor at 25% and try to get that 25%. But we always talk about it in our calculations. I'm gonna show you where that comes from in today's episode and try to break it down because sometimes the code doesn't say things the way you and I would like it to say it, but I'm gonna show you how it gets there, okay? I, before I do that though, I wanna remind you folks, if you really want a good course that learns, uh, that teaches you the NEC, uh, if you're already licensed, we have a course called Mastering the NEC, which is basically a code book in your pocket. Um, it allows all our graphics and illustrations, commentary, uh, all those type of things. And soon, we'll be also adding Fast Tracks Interact to Mastering the NEC series as well. It's that's exciting because it allows you to now be able to ask questions. So it makes it a great resource for you if you've already licensed and you're in the field. It's basically, it doesn't expire and it's like having an expert in your pocket. Now, if you're studying for an electrical exam, there's nothing better than our Fast Tracks basic or enhanced programs to teach you the National Electrical Code and it already incorporates Fast Tracks Interact, which allows you to interact with other students directly in your program. No other program like that out there and the ability to have an instructor like me to be engaged with in order to answer those questions uh, is what sets our fast track system apart from any other system out there. Go buy a book on eBay, go buy a bunch of DVDs, but do you get to interact with the educator? Nowhere like you get to uh, interact with me, okay? So that's what sets our fast track system apart. Code is code. Anybody can regurgitate it, write it down, but it's how we explain it and how we show you how the code works is what separates other educators from me. I will break it down for you, okay? Now, let's talk about that largest motor application. So when you're doing your load calculation and you're in part three and you're doing the standard method, uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to come across uh, the National Electrical Code, and we're in our lesson right now, and you're gonna to get to this box when you're doing your calculation. Uh, and this could be, this is just a, a standard load calculation or it could be multifamily dwelling calculation, either way. Uh, you're gonna see all this verbiage right here. Notice that it says the largest motor, it says one motor only, the largest motor. Now, why is it important to say this? Because this is part of unit 11. And unit 11 in our program does multifamily buildings. So it would be the same for the single family dwelling, but also when we're trying to find the largest motor, it's also gonna apply that way in a multifamily dwelling. And we're not trying to get the largest motor in every dwelling unit. We just want the largest motor, period, okay? So here you see how this is broken down. And that's what's so important about our forms is that it not only gives you the form to fill it in, but also down here, it gives you code references and where to go and where to look things up, okay? So in this case, we're looking for the largest motor. So A call out right here, just remind you that multiply the largest motor in the dwelling by 25%. Now, where do we get that? That's the next question. It's like, Paul, does the code say take the largest motor and do it at 25%? No. So what you got to look at is we have to go to 220.50. Now 220.50, you see this in here, this means it's, it's not new concept for the 2023, it's just new in how it's worded, okay? Kind of broke it up. And so here it's very clear that we're talking about motors and air conditioning equipment now, very clear. Now here we broke it up so motors is separate because 220.50 could be confusing to the reader of the code prior to the 2023 edition, but it means the same thing. So when you've done a load calculation, you're doing the motors at 100%. Now you may get to apply some other demand to that. If you have, for example, a single family dwelling, you have a standard method. If you have four or more appliances fastened in place, you get to do what? You get to apply a demand factor. 
typically 75%, right? If you have four or more. Um, and you might have an in-sync waste disposer, which is a horsepower, which is a motor. Uh, and so you're saying, okay, well, I've already taken all these motors at 100%. Now, I may have applied an initial demand factor to it because it was a fastened in place appliance, but I have taken them at their 100%. So what this is saying is, okay, motor. It says the conductor sizing requirements specified in 430.24 and 430.25 and the feeder demand factors, uh, de demand factor calculated method specified in 430.26 shall be used to determine the motor load. So in our calculation standard method, we need to take this into consideration. So again, they're saying, well, where am I getting the uh, additional, why am I getting the additional 25%? Okay, so let's look right here at 430.24. Now, in this dwelling, we have multiple motors, right? No difference that if we had a commercial building that had multiple motors. You take the first motor at what? 125%, that's what it says right here. And then you take the sum, which is the FLC, of all of the additional motors in the same group, right? So in this scenario, since it's a dwelling unit or a multifamily dwelling, they're all going to be basically in the same group, okay? So I'm required to take the largest motor at 125%. Okay, well, we've already taken the motors at 100%. So, all we're doing to get that additional 25 is searching for what is the largest motor. And we need to get extract that additional 25% out of that, not the whole value, just 25% of that. This is where it comes from. And so I agree. It can get very confusing when you're doing a standard method because you don't do this when you do the optional method, okay? So under the standard method, you're going, okay, where is this additional, when somebody says, take the largest motor at, 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 and get 25% of it, where are we getting that? We're getting it by 220.50 and following the rules. And when we go to, because we have multiple motors in the building, we're hunting for the largest one. And we're going to take that and multiply that and get 25% of that value. And that 25% is what we're going to add to our standard calculation, load calculation. And we're gonna account for just that additional 25%. So when you see somebody ask you and say, hey, um, you've done all these load calculations, but now I have to account for the largest motor. Just remember, you've already accounted for the motor. Now you're just searching for the largest motor so you can capture that additional 25% that is demanded in 220.50. And it's just that easy, folks. So anytime you hear somebody out there say, hey, you need to take the largest motor at 125%. And you go, oh, wait a minute. I've already taken the motor at 100% before any demands were applied, say, because of fasten in place applications. But I've already accounted for the motor. I am now only needing to capture that 25%. And then collectively, I will have done the largest motor at 125%. But I just did it separately. Makes sense? Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Obviously, if it does not, you know what you can do. You can reach out to me at paulabernathy.com. You can post something in the comments. We'd love to teach you the National Electrical Code. We go in depth in this in our Fast Tracks program. And again, you can post any question you want. Like if you're like, Paul, I, I, I just need more clarification. Well, guess what? Fast Tracks Interact is a perfect way to interact with us and ask me more questions, just cut and paste the, the whole section there into the, the uh, Fast Tracks Interact, and I will answer it, break it down for you. If I need to attach a video to make it clear, guess what? The new program allows for us to attach things like that. So again, hopefully you'll check out our program over at FastTracksSystem.com, and I'd love to teach you the National Electrical Code. Trust me, like me or hate me, my goal is to teach you the NEC. Take care.